Do, well, do you have money? No. Get lost, Dom. We're rehearsing. Oh, that's what you're doing. I thought you were torturing the neighbor's cat. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Let's take it from the top. What happened? Oh, sorry. Mom, can't you guys please leave us alone? The audition's in two days. Yes, but honey, the, the reunion's on Saturday. We got a million things to do. Hey, you kids ever thought of playing something more, more musical, well, something with the melody? Yeah. Like this. Now this oh, is gonna so be the hit of the reunion. <laughs> Just think, if you make it to the show, you could get discovered. You could become famous. See? You understand how important this audition is, but they don't get it at all. All they ever do is embarrass me to death. Oh, my mom does that all the time. I have no idea what good music is. And you should see the way my dad looks at Liz and Joni, like they're from Mars. I think they look cool. Exactly. Hi, Mr. Ramon. Hello, Amanda. Busy. Guess what? Antonio's coming to the reunion all the way from Napoli. Who's Antonio? Who's Antonio? Please. Second cousin once removed. You met him once when you were two years old. Don't you remember? Oh, that Antonio. Uh... <laughs> I'm so happy your parents invited me to this reunion. Now I get to meet all your long-lost relatives. Do you want to know what a Ramon family reunion is like? Oh, there. Now you know. Ow. I got to go. I got to meet my band. We've got to end them thwow, twiddle it out, you know, all together. This sounds more uplifting that way, like there's hope for the planet. No way. This song is about doom. It's got to be a downer. No one's going to take the message seriously. It's got to end on a bass rumble. Please. I wrote the song I should know. Why don't you ask Busy what she thinks? Me? Yeah, you're the keeper of the beat. Oh, I agree with Petrocelli. I think it should be up. See? I told you. OK, kids, what do you have? Egg salad for me, please. I'll have a side of string beans and a Coke. Actually, make that too. Thanks. I'll have the veal sandwich. OK. Thanks. You're joking, right? You're not going to eat veal.
Don't worry, I know good veal from bad. My dad's a butcher. Do you, do you know that veal is a baby calf that's born and raised in a tiny cage? I'll leave it be, Liz. Busy can eat whatever she wants. And they never let it out. And they force feed it and they torture it until they slaughter its young life. It's true. And it's all for the consumption of flesh eaters. I never knew all that. Well, that's why we're vegetarians. And they're called veal fattening pans. That is so gross. Do you think they do that with chickens? I really like chicken. I don't know. I can't believe my dad never told me about this. Here it is. You sure you want to do this? Yeah. I mean, don't you think Joni's looks cool? So, Frankie, you're up first with the magic act, huh? Then Manny's got karaoke. I wonder if Grandma Sophia's gonna wanna do a mime routine this year. <coughs> mime routine? Hey, Marcel Marceau's our hero. <laughs> Busy, you're late. Sorry. Here, take the salad. Elizabeth, what have you done to your nose? I want that thing out, now. Why, it's my nose. And this is my house. No daughter of mine is going to enter it with that thing in her nose. It's just a stud, like a small earring. Get busy. You got a booger in your nose. Yeah, a shiny one. Shut up. I can't believe you didn't talk to us about this, Busy. It's that band of hers. Next thing you know, they'll have her taking drugs. They're a bad influence. No, they're not. They're completely committed to changing the world. They're the only ones that take me seriously and treat me like a grown-up. Oh, sticking a hole in your nose is grown-up. No way you're wearing that thing at the reunion. The card you chose was the Queen of Spades. Try again, Kreskin. <laughs> Busy, aren't you gonna have any steak? No. But you love steak. Um, I've decided to become a vegetarian. <laughs> Busy? <laughs> Are you serious? Mm. Yes, I mean... Eating meat, it's... It's like murder. My daughter with a, a plug in her nose is now calling me a murderer. No. It's just... I don't want to eat meat anymore. It's gross. You think the business that puts clothes on your back and food on the table is gross? Oh, uh, salad. It's just the way I feel. Great. More for me. Trendy. I'm not trendy. I'm serious, okay? Look, I've had just about enough of you, young lady. I don't want you hanging around with those, those hoodlums anymore. See how they're dressed? They look like a bunch of dirty punks. All they do is teach you to mutilate yourself and to insult your father. Oh, so it's okay for you to insult my friends, but I can't say anything back? Is that fair? You're grounded. You go no further than this backyard. You are not going to play in the band. And you're not going to wear that, that plug in your nose. But you can't ground me. I have the audition tomorrow. Should have thought of that before. <sighs> Mom? Mom, did you find my socks? Here, here you go. Here. Sam, have you seen the shopping list? You better get lots of potatoes. You know Aunt Teresa likes her gnocchi. Come on, we'll drop you a crack. Busy? We'll be back in a few hours. No going outside.
But we haven't even got to the chorus yet. That's the best part. We don't need it. So you guys know that the showcase will be in this hall, and you'll probably play in the uh, second half. We got the gig? Mm-hmm. You guys are tight. Solid backbeat. I'll see you here Saturday morning, 11 a.m. sharp, and you can expect to be here all day. This Saturday? We had to move it up a week. Some booking conflict with the Ukrainian wedding. Is that a problem? No. no. Saturday's my family reunion. What? It's no problem. I'll be here. Glad to see you finally decided to come out of your room. Please, let me help. Hey, thank you for taking that thing out. Uh, well, I thought about it some more, and I could really see your point, Dad. Hmm? <laughs> Stop it, Manny. They're for the reunion. Hey, you're late. What are you talking about? I've been waiting here for an hour. From Uncle Joe. He can come to the reunion. Uncle Joe! This guy reeks some mothballs. <laughs> Don't talk about your uncle like that. He has a problem. Can't help it. Mmm, sausages look good, Dad. Thank you. Thank God you took that thing out of your nose. It would have been the laughing stock at my own reunion. Well, actually, I was thinking I might not go to the reunion. Well, it wouldn't be a huge deal, would it? Pardon me? We got into the showcase. They only picked 20 bands, and it's this Saturday. Isn't it amazing we actually got picked? You went to the audition. What audition? Dad, I, I had to. No, no. I'll tell you what you have to do. You have to be at that reunion. My family can come all the way from Italy. You can come from upstairs. Which is where I want you to go right now. You're still grounded. You think you know what's best for me. But you don't. You don't know anything about me. What audition? Can I come in? No. Well, I'm in. Look. Maybe you should cut Dad some slack. You know how much this reunion means to him. Well, I also know how much my music means to me. It's just one day busy. Father's Day is just one day, but you had a baseball game, so you couldn't make brunch. Oh, and Mom's birthday is just one day, but you had a date with some girl. That was like five years ago. So? Come on, Dom, I thought you'd be on my side. I'm not on anybody's side. I just don't know why you have to ruin a good party. Me ruin a good party? I'm not ruining anything. They're the ones ruining my life. I'm just standing up for my rights. I'm allowed, you know. Sure. You're allowed. I'm just getting a snack, if that's not a crime. Could you come in here, please? <sighs> mm. 
your father would like to talk to you. Wouldn't you, Sam? Your father would like to tell you that he does know how important your music is to you. Right. <laughs> now, how can you think like that? Now, I put up with your drumming every night. So a lot I can't even watch television. See? You're making it sound like all I do is make noise. It's music. Stop it. Both of you? Now, can we try to listen to each other? Busy. I'm really trying to understand this showcase thing. But I want you to try and understand my point of view, okay? My mama is coming here from Italy. I have a brother I haven't seen in three years coming to my backyard. Now that your family too busy. Okay, it might not seem important now, but someday you'll realize family is the most important thing. Now, I want you to be with us, Busy, to share in the celebration. And your father and I would like you to play a drum solo at the reunion. You really are very good, sweetie. I don't want to do a solo. I want to play with my band. Why would I play for a bunch of boring immigrants who stink of garlic and pinch my cheeks too hard? Busy, how can you say such things? First my profession, and then you insult my family. Joni. I must have been this total carnivore in another life. What's wrong? Well, apparently it's Ukrainian wedding season. They've double booked the hall and our showcase is off. What, like postponed? No, not even that. Cancelled. Man, I'm destined to play in a garage band for the rest of my life. The card you chose is the Ace of Hearts. And I'm right again. Easy, kid, Bella. I'm Amanda. Honest. <laughs> oh, scusi, Amanda. Yeah. Hello. Nice to meet you. Please. Sam? It's a wonderful party. Maybe you were hungry. Thanks, Miranda. Don't tell my band, okay? You don't have to stay here. You can go back down to the party. Mm, it's okay. I'll stay up here with you. Come on, Amanda. I could see what a great time you were having. Well, can't have a good time down there knowing you're up here. Do you really think that I want to go out there and listen to a bunch of my old aunts tell me how much I've grown? Do you really think I want to do that? Yes.
drum solo for us? Well, actually, I had another idea. Thank <laughs> you.